Hello everyone, we're back. We ended up having to go home from Georgia. Went up to Tennessee and got a load going to Minnesota and then had to bet that bit but <coughs> had to bounce home. We got sick in Georgia. And had to go home and get tested for the COVID. For the, for the situation, sorry. Quarantine for 14 days. A little over. I just came back out this last Monday. It is two, Wednesday now. So, we delivered in Arkansas. Boring load. Bag crushed stone. I'm over here in Catoosa, Oklahoma, loading glass for University of Ohio. And of course, can't show nothing. God forbid. I'm back in here in the building. building, wait for them to load me, we can go to Ohio, it's crated window glass, it's insulated window glass, rectangular, tall rectangular box or crates, wooden crates, they're going to put four on me, and two big, two, two low ones on each side. And uh, they're going to nail them together so that they're one giant crate versus a bunch of small ones. But we don't wiggle back and forth as we go down the road. It's for me. So we lost our Dallas load. We no longer have the dedicated because I got sick. They can get sick. Everybody else can get sick. I can't get sick. So I got sick. So they canceled us. We're gonna we're gonna look for other carriers. Well, kiss my ass. I told these guys. Don't put me on a dedicated load. So if something happens, if shit happens, I'm not going to be there to haul it. So they lost it. Because they let everybody everybody haul vans and reefers. They didn't care about putting anybody else on a flatbed or in a, in a Conestoga. Because I told him I won't fucking pull one of them things. So, they lost it. Yeehaw! So I get to run the run the spot market now. Yes. So hopefully, I can start hauling shit that I can film. Because hauling the same shit over and over and over. How many loads of aluminum do you want to see? How many loads of the same shit going to Texas do you want to see? All get strapped down the same. All goes to the same place. So, new truck is working out. Oh! Did I say something about that? Yeah, I did. I think I did. I have to go back through and look. New truck is working out okay. It's fast, I'll tell you that much. And it pulls. I come across 44 faster than I've ever come across 44 with 40 some thousand on me. So. 
So we got 28,000 in glass going back across to Slow Ohio. I don't know why I call it Slow Ohio. It's not Slow Ohio no more. But hopefully, I don't have to worry about any weather heading that direction. So. Still got a few things to work out. I'm sorry, I'm tired. I'm sitting here doing absolutely nothing makes me tired. Um, still got a couple things to iron out in here. And then we cleaned the shit out of this thing. Um, Lysoled it. Wiped it down with Clorox cleanup wipes. And all that after I got sick. Just to make sure there's nothing left in here. Um, went through the bedding and all that shit, sprayed the hell out of the mattresses and all that with Lysol. Um, so, so far so good. Not feeling anything. Last driver that was in this truck got sick, so. Until I can do some do some investigating and find out why he got sick, we will continue to lice all the shit out of this truck. We're gonna kill every fucking germ we can in here. I wipe, I spray it, spray the dash down, spray the walls and everything down, and wipe it down. Spray the floor, wipe it down. Just spray and wipe everything. Spray the vents. Spray everything inside here. I don't want to get fucking sick. I was so happy when my test came back negative. But, being that I had gotten tested, I had to sit home for 14 days. I don't know how y'all did it. Being locked out as long as y'all were. I don't know how the fuck y'all did it. That drove me nuts. I didn't have a house to roam around in. I had a bedroom. Because I have... Three roomies? Well, my mom, my sister in law's sister, and then family friend. So I had to stay in my room for the first seven fucking days. Couldn't go outside, couldn't do nothing. Stayed in my room. They used to they bring my meals down, set it on the on a tray out in front of my room, and then when they leave I could go get it. I'd have to text them if I needed anything. They'd go get it, bring it, bring it, go to the store, whatever, bring it, set it in front of my door. Freaking nuts. I don't know how you people did that shit. Oh. Get stuck in the house that, that fucking long. I understand now why you don't want another lockdown. I understand perfectly. Uh, uh, catch you drift. Still got a little bit of talk. Now. Hmm. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. But I'd video what I'm doing, but or what I'm hauling, but they won't let me. So. 
privacy of the workers. So we will get back at you when there's something exciting. So have a good one.